Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming back to my channel. It's Jen from Catascraft Designs. Um, it's early today here. I don't uh, know if you guys are even up yet, but um, I wanted to start off early because I have to go return my loaner car. Um, and it's an hour drive away from me. So I figured I'd get a head start. And for whatever reason, I've been up since 2.30 this morning. So I don't know. I got my crock pot ready to go for before I leave. I'm going to take my dog for a walk after this. Come home, shower. And I'm just starting my day real early today. But I wanted to come and do, um, get a head start and do my 100 day challenge uh, around the house, which is hosted by um, Angela from The Traveling Crafter. And today we are on prompt number six. And prompt number six is using labels. So I thought about it and I had done a video, I don't know, I don't know how long ago it was, um, where I did a tuck spot made out of labels. So it was like, a I don't know, I guess that week I was, I had created labels. So I had done a video on uh, creating your own ephemera, um, creating the uh, your own grungy sheet, then creating your own labels, then um, creating a tuck spot. So I am going to do the tuck spot again. It might be a little bit different this time, obviously. Um, but I have my labels that I cut out because I cut out a bunch of them. So I already have them done. So you don't have to sit here and watch me, you know, make labels. So I'm just going to pull some out. Um, obviously we're not going to use all of them, but these are the labels that I did create, um, that day when I did my video and I enjoyed it. It was, I don't know, it was very relaxing so if you have a chance to create labels i say go for it so these are all my labels that i have left and i had made a lot so some of these are stickers some are paper some are on cardstock some are on file folders I had just done a whole bunch of different um, labels. So, and I just keep them in here. So anyhow, I'm gonna start off by just inking these. And I started off with, um, just so you know, file folder, um, these are file folders and I just cut them into tag shapes. And that is how I started my base. And I wish I knew what journal I put them in. So I can actually show you kind of what they look like. And they, they, they may not look the same, obviously. Everything you create looks different, but they're gonna be similar. Um, but I don't remember what journal I put them in or if I even still have that journal. Um, but it was a cute little tuck spot and I was able to tuck things behind it. Um, I remember having one on one side and one on the, one on one page and one on the other. And I don't know, I thought they came out really cute. So we'll do them again because you may not have seen that video. Um, so like I said, I'm just starting off with um, inking up my tags, why I'm using tag shapes. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. On the page, I thought it looked cute. And you could use any size. I don't measure anything. I just go ahead and see what I got laying around and cut it up into what I need. And even though this is a little, you can see that right there. It's got a little wrinkle in it and we're gonna be covering that up. So, so I basically take And they don't have to be, I'm gonna do one right and one left. So you can have one on one page and one on the other and these will come in handy to me um, as tuck spots. And I might even take this out 
a little bit further because this tag doesn't come to the end, but I'll have a tag that's gonna cover that up. So we're all good there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue down my, let's see, where are we, where are we coming with this? So approximately, I'm gonna just, I don't wanna ruin my tape. I gotta wipe off this whole thing cause it's probably got glue everywhere. I'm just gonna put this here just in case I get glue on it. <clears throat> I should have my baby wipe uh, have my baby wipes right here. So I'll keep them here in case I need them. And I'm just gonna go ahead. And glue right here. I'm not sure, <clears throat> excuse me, if I am going to sew around these or not. I want to say I don't think I sewed around the other ones because I don't think they were needed. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, so I'm just going to come over here. Probably gonna seep out. Like I said, I'm a little heavy handed with my glue. I gotta stop that because it wastes my glue. I see I'm, I, and I seep. I seep everything. So, okay. So these are my bases and they don't have to be tag shapes. They could be rectangles, squares, whatever you want them to be. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me. So these are the labels I'm gonna use. I'll pick some out, I'm not using them all. So I'll have a bunch left over. These are just my, if you're curious, these are my tickets that I um, embossed. I guess I have them in the same um, little storage container. <clears throat> some of my labels were cut off, which were fine because again, we're gonna be overlapping. So I just wanna take note so I don't cover up. to be kind of, I want to get that in there because I had to move that over. Okay. That's fine. And we'll just do one at a time. And these are just, um, I might just as I'm going along, stick some over here and some of the corners I may have forgotten to cut off. So I'll do them now. Okay. And I have all different types of labels, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use or how it's gonna fit in. Like this is a mannequin. And these are all gonna be kind of, they're all grungy. So that's just what it's gonna be. I love grunge. <laughs> so, like this one here is on cardstock. I just use what I have. I look at my desk, I look at my scraps, and I'm like, what can I use? I like to use scraps. I like to do things with scraps. I think I did another video. Um, with labels, um, using my scraps. And I want to 
get this down to right where the tag shape cuts off. I don't want to lose that. And I'm kind of collaging them, right? That's what it kind of seems like. This is on a sticker, so this is a really thin one. And I got to see if I, I got to get the back off. And it's so hard to get the back off, especially after I cut it, so. And I don't trust that stickiness, especially <laughs> Um, I might have went over this with the heat gun to dry them a little quicker. So they're not as sticky as they used to be. And a lot of the ones I get at the thrift store are not um, as sticky as they used to be. And I'm going to put this here and I am going to cut my tag shapes back. Don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that either. Okay. Okay, this is being stubborn and it's stuck on. So I just have some numbers here and I'm probably going to put those, like I have some of these that I'll probably just stick on when I collage. And don't mind me, I'm just separating those while I can. These little, little tiny tags. That's collage. This is a piece of garbage. <laughs> I tried organizing my stuff. It's just so hard when you're just creating a bunch of stuff. And you have stuff everywhere like I do in my craft room. It's like when I walk in here, sometimes I don't know what to do, where to go. Because I just have so much stuff. Okay, so I'm... Because this one cut off, I'm just going to stick this one there. And this is another sticker. So I got to get that backing off. I created these on these Avery labels. I think it was a full sheet and I just stamped on them. But the stickiness, like I said, was just not a good, which is fine. So it's kind of like a light copy paper. just overlap that. I want to bring in the color red. I love this one. This has gold and golden red in it and it's shaped like a ticket. I want to just get this right on the edge. Like that. So we have another one. It might come in handy. This is on file folder, so this is going to be a little bit thicker. So 
So I am actually going to put this one here and cut that off and then put, sorry, I'm just sticking some of these over here that I might use. These are halvesies. And I had halvesies because I had done half. That looks the same. I had done half um, on some of them. So I know it looks like I'm being picky, right? Love that red. And we just have all different stands and we could cut them up. Like this bingo card I can cut and we could put here or just come right across. I'm still going to have to cut it off and I could always add it somewhere else, which I actually think I may do. Because I like the way that looks. So yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do that. I don't know how far it goes, so let's see. So I have the O left. Oh, I didn't put this one up there. Because I didn't really know what I was doing with that one. Now I'm wondering if I should. No, I'm not going to do that that way. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it here. And the rest of my thing, I'm just going to make this straight. put this one up first here. I want to put this right on the like right on the corner. So we have like a little opening here. And I don't know if you noticed, I had some round round ones I had done. That I'm going to stick there. To cover that space up. My dog is in here sitting behind me. He's like, you haven't walked me in four days because I've been busy and I haven't had time. I usually walk him at six o'clock, so I still have time. He's like eyeballing me. So I'm gonna take
I want this. Oh, I'm just trying to think. I have so many good, good labels. I don't know what to use. Okay, I didn't use any of these yet. These little squares. I think I'm going to use that one right there. And then I need a skinny I'm looking for a skinny. Oh, here's one. Skinny labels to put right there. And I think this is on the sticker paper as well. So I need to take it off because I don't want it to come off on my project. Come on. We know you're not sticking well. No, you're not. It's coming off like. It's just a piece of paper. This is a pretty easy project, and this is good for beginners. It's just pretty much collaging something on a smaller scale. My little tags. Okay, so I may put that one there. Oops. I gotta put one here. Okay, so this one's already cut up. It's a postcard one. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half. This one's on cardstock. So these are gonna be like pretty heavy. They're not gonna be thin, but when you put them down on your paper they're going to be nice and sturdy and hold your whatever you put behind that um whatever stuff you put behind your tuck spots i want this one right here okay And then I'm going to overlap this one. Is this on sticker paper? I just want to make sure if it is, which it is, that it just doesn't fall off. gonna go ahead and cut this off get my little tag shape back okay so now we pretty much have the base down so you could add anything additional you want if you want to continue layering um, if you want to just like add numbers, you can do that.
that's really up to you. I'm just gonna add this one number just because this is all script here. And I know this is a little bit white, but I'm just gonna add this one number right on top. I'm going to butt it against here. And this is one of I'm just inking some of the edges that I had to cut off. This is one of and you can ink it in black if you want. I'm just doing brown. Um this is one of the tuck spots. I think it came out pretty good. I just have this part to cut off. This and inking. I'm trying to see anything else oh, right here. Just want to make sure it's straight because when I put it on my journal, I don't want any issues. So this would go on your page like in a corner show you and you could st stick your like I would glue down he here and here and depending on what I'm putting in here maybe here but really just the left and the bottom and then you could tuck in here like here's one thing you could tuck in another thing and you have a nice tuck spot and it looked really good in my journal that I did I loved it I just love the way it came out so I'm glad I'm doing another one because if I you know to have this ephemera on hand when you're making journals is great. I mean, I have a box of it and sometimes I forget to go in there and look and see what I have when I'm making a journal and I make new stuff. I got to get into the habit of going into that journal. So let's do this one. This is a little bit different of a shape. It's a little bit smaller, which is fine. And this one I want to put this man here. <laughs> so let me just close this up so it doesn't dry out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I want to stick him. I think I'm going to stick him right there. my copyright I'll have to cut off over here but I'm gonna or you know what this one's already this edge is already cut so I'm gonna put it over here So 
that we'll just have to cut that off. I hope I'm in frame. Can you guys see me? If I'm not in frame, I'm going to be mad. But you can't talk to me and tell me, so <laughs> am I in frame? Oh, okay. Now I got to get my right in. But before I do that, let me get... Trying to see here what I want to put. It's like I'm gonna use that. Like I'm gonna save that. I know I'm thinking too hard into this, right? I'm gonna put that there. There are some I just don't want to cut off. men and women next to each other. I'm just trying to figure out this I wouldn't mind cutting because it's numbers. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one in half so I could stick this across. I think this is part of the bingo card. Let me go ahead and stick this on first. Still hope I'm in frame. I mean, I don't need that much glue. I don't know why I do that. This is the one I got to cut off. Okay. So I put extra glue I didn't need. Swipe it off. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. typically the scissors I'd use but it's what I got it's what I got in handy and then this I was going to I just wanna because I had to cut that off so I just want to ink that I think I'm going to put this sideways. I want to 
get it to the end. And then I want to use this ticket. We're gonna have to cut half of it off. Not half of it, some of it. So it looks like I'm gonna have to cut from here down. So I'm layering on top, if you noticed. I just want to make sure, oh, that's. Just want to make sure I got enough glue. Looks like I need a little more here. Okay. And then I have this bingo, the bingo card. Oh, that's not big enough. Well, if I put it here, I hope you could see that. If I put it here, then I'd have to cover that up. Let's see. If I put it here, I can just put a little circle like I did on the other one, right down here. I think I'm gonna do that. I love these, I love working with tickets, I really do. If you guys haven't done it yet, you, you have to do it. Get your stamps out. Make your own tickets. And I have all the Tim Holtz ticket stuff. And I prefer doing it this way, to be honest with you. And then the top. So I can either go in here with, the, with those numbers or I could come in here with the white which is different color. I could even come in with the transportation See what else I have. Uh, number. Let's see, is this big enough? No. Okay, we'll save that for another time. I have months. I 
I could go in with that. I think I'm going to go in with the transportation. I don't have another red ticket. Love it. Love it. That ain't gonna fit. This might fit. So I could go in with that instead of transportation. And I think I'm gonna do that. I like that. Because I'm not going to cut off the number. I'll cut off some of the stars. That's no big deal. I like this. I'm trying to get it to the top of the ticket, of the tag. So I think, I'm just trying to see if I wanna, layer anything else. It's like you, I don't know. I like having the black there. I have the white contrast up there. I think I like it the way it is, uh, to be honest with you. So I think I'm gonna keep it like that. I love making these. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and ink. The portions I had to cut off which were quite a few, and that's okay. And that's it. So these are the tags I have left, uh, the labels I have left over. And these are the two tuck spots. So again, tuck spot on this page, tuck spot on this page. I don't have a page <laughs> to show you, but um, yeah, I don't have a page available here to show you. Just if this was your journal page, you would put it to the corner, glue these two sides, use a small one because this isn't a full size page, and then you would just, you would have all this space to tuck in. just make believe this was a bigger size page you would have I mean you would even be able to tuck little tickets in there if you wanted to and then you'd have this on the other side of the page just imagine it's a, a bigger page <laughs> um, you would have all this stuff to
tap into your tuck spots. I love them. So that was my project for the day for using labels. And I hope that inspired you to grab your stamps, make some labels if you don't already have them, and um, make my talk spots. I think they're cute. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like them. Um, leave them in the comment section. I will reply back. Please be kind. Um, and I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me so early in the morning. It is 6.20. I'm going to go ahead and take my dog for a walk and start my, my day, which already started. But um, until my next video, guys, as always, you have an awesome day. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.